Hey guys, welcome back to Lindsay Loves. Today I'm finally getting around to doing a video that I have promised you guys for quite a while. I had a kind of shopping spree where I purchased several of these bags. If you want to check out where I talk about all three bags and just kind of a haul video, then I will link that above. I will also link my review for the first bag that I bought, which was the smallest one, and that was in the leather, so that's the mini size. I'll link that review if you're interested. I'm also going to do comparisons in this video to all three sizes so you can see what would fit your needs best but today we are talking about the small size and for me I feel like that is the most perfect size so it's all subjective but I prefer this size more than the others and I'll tell you why but first of all let me show you the version I have so this is the ditzy floral version it's canvas you still have the lettering you still have the Marc Jacobs logo there on the back, you have the little patch that says the Marc Jacobs style tote bag, location NYC, year 1984, and it's like a nylon patch. The rest of this is canvas. It has these top handles that you can carry it by. You can either carry it in your hand or on the crook of your arm, but it is not going to fit on your shoulder. If there was one thing that I could change about this bag, it would be that I could have these handles just a smidge longer so I could put it on my shoulder, but we'll get into an alternative to that in just a second. It also has this little loop on the side. Everyone that I've seen do reviews on this has no idea what it's supposed to be for. Some people have said a water bottle not really practical for that in my opinion especially because this bag is big enough to fit a water bottle a decent size one so you do have this maybe it's just an extra way to hold on to it but that's where that is on the other side it's plain and what i like about this particular style which is unlike um, any other of their small size tote bags is this particular print and that is because you have these gorgeous florals So I feel like even though it's a black bag You can wear this in the summer because of the floral you can also wear it in the winter because it's a black So I feel like it's kind of an all-year-round bag, which is really nice But you have these little details in this bag. They're kind of hidden, but if you can see right there There's the Marc Jacobs logo They have just little areas all over the bag that have that little hidden logo in there, which I think is kind of cool um, there's another one right there on the bottom it says the Marc Jacobs so kind of a cute little touch that you wouldn't necessarily see right away but it is there and let me talk about this particular size because I feel like for me this is the perfect bag so I no longer have the mini size that I did the review on because it was too small it was leather the leather was so soft so buttery and smooth um, very high quality so I do recommend those although once you get past the mini size they get pretty expensive I would love to have a small size in leather but it's really hard for me to pay that much money for a bag um, but I do love the canvas ones even they can be expensive especially as they're coming out with newer styles their denim styles felt styles I'll link everything I can below I love this one because I've heard that the regular black bag has a problem with attracting lint I don't know if it's because the flowers kind of camouflage that but I've never noticed any lint I've never had to take a lint roller to this bag like some people have talked about so really appreciate the low maintenance aspect of this um, it's a canvas bag it's still I would say a little bit heavy but not as much as like a huge leather bag would be my favorite feature of this entire bag is that it has a zipper. Just about every tote you buy is not going to have a zippered top like that. And these kind of totes in general are really big right now. Not just from Marc Jacobs, but from all kinds of brands, designer, luxury brands. Um, so I love that style. But I really want to keep my things secure. And so I really, really appreciate the zipper. Um, that totally sold me on it. And honestly, if I would get another big book bag kind of style like this, I would definitely want to get another Marc Jacobs just because of the zipper is so important to me so you can unzip it all the way it also has a little bit of a longer strap you could even tuck that in here on the leather versions they actually have a magnet right here so that this stays out and you can attach it like that and it's magnetized or you can tuck it in like this if you want to for the canvas style so you open it up all the way and you have a big big roomy area so let me show you that absolutely huge like you can fit so much in this it's crazy um, it doesn't really need a bag like organizer in my opinion because you're not using it to keep its shape it keeps its shape pretty well but if you wanted more organization you could definitely fit a really good sized 
bag organizer in here and it would still be really nice. You also do have this pocket that kind of hangs and it's not attached at the bottom, just on the top. So that comes in handy. You have a large zippered compartment on the top of that. And then you have these two little sections here, great for a phone or for keys or lipstick, something that you don't want rolling around in your bag. And then you have another logo in nylon that again says the Marc Jacobs and it's trimmed in kind of a ribbony material. So I really like that as well. Um, I like to be organized with my bags. I'm not somebody who just throws everything in them. I like to have pockets and areas where to keep things. And so I usually put a few smaller canvas bags in here um, and kind of organize it that way. And then obviously I utilize all of these pockets. I really love this bag. This is such a great size for me personally. Um, and like I said, I'll show you the comparison of all three later on in this video. But this size is great because I feel like it can be casual for the summertime. I can throw water bottles in there. I can throw snacks in there when we go to my kids' baseball and softball games and lug snacks around, whatever it is. So I feel like it's kind of useful for that. It could also be used as almost like a diaper bag because of that. It has so much space. Um, so that is super handy. And then the other thing is that it comes with this strap. So depending on what color you choose for the bag, you might get a different colored strap. A lot of the original ones are just plain black, um, but they have several other versions now. And I think you can even buy the strap separately if you want a different one. But this is the one that comes with it. You hook it on with this little hook and then this D-ring here. And it's on the inside, so it's not really showing and then you have a shoulder bag. You can either carry it as a long shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. I love doing this crossbody. And because, again, of this print and this style, I don't have to worry about denim transfer. So no matter what I'm wearing, it works fine. I would say the only thing to be cautious of with every single one of his canvas bags is to not leave it out in the sun. I've noticed a lot of them that are through secondhand shops, which is how I purchased all of mine, um, look pretty faded, especially I've noticed that with the slate blue color, which is one of the original colors. So if you're worried about the fading, I would say definitely keep it out of the sun as much as possible because it seems to fade very quickly. I haven't had that problem at all with this one. Um, but like I said, the flowers kind of camouflage a lot as well. But this is in great shape. I bought this used. I'm really glad I did. They're typically pretty expensive for a canvas bag in my opinion, but at the same time, it's such a nice actual bag to use for work, um, for summertime, any time of year. You can fit so much in here. I can't say for sure, but I think you'd be able to fit an iPad in here because it is so roomy. I'll leave the dimensions down below. Um, but this is just a really great all-around bag. Obviously, it's going to be a little more casual. They're leather versions, however. I feel like you can really dress up. So lots of options, lots of things to think about. But for me personally, this is just perfect. I love the size of it. I love the ease of carrying it. And I love that it's so versatile and how I can use it. So the small size my favorite hands down. So I'm going to go into the size comparisons now. I'm going to throw that in here so you can see the difference between the mini, which was my leather one, um, the small here, and then the large, which is kind of a traditional tote bag, I guess you would say. Um, very, very big, more like a beach bag or a carry-on. It's not necessarily something I could see people wearing as a bag or even a work bag. I just feel like it's too big for that. So again, this is my perfect size. If you don't need this much room, then the mini size is going to be a lot better for you. Um, but yeah, love this bag so much. I am currently stocking another one that I want to get really badly. There are a few that I don't care for color wise, but for the most part, I think they're so gorgeous and they have so many more new options this season. So I'm super impressed with this. It's very durable. I would say the only thing is don't get it like soaking wet as in don't set it on the ground if there's tons of dew on the grass. Um, that would make me a little bit nervous because I have had um, cheapy canvas bags um, get mold from that and so it's not a cute look. Um, so I would take care of it that way. Just can set it on a chair or throw it around the back of the chair and it's no big deal. I don't feel like I have to really baby this like I do a leather bag and that's also something I appreciate especially in the summertime. Um, I don't have time for a fancy bag in the summertime. I just need it to be a workhorse and this one definitely is. So absolutely love this definitely recommend it so let me know if you have any questions about this particular size or the canvas or if you have questions about any of the versions any of the sizes i'd be happy to answer those for you 
Um, but let me go ahead and do the size comparison and then we'll do some mod shots so you can see what it looks like on me. So I'm going to include this clip in every review I do of the tote bags just so you get an idea of size. So this is the size large and this does not have the crossbody strap but it does have longer shoulder straps so you wear this one on your shoulder. This is more of a like work bag or travel bag. It's not something that I would necessarily carry every day. Next we have the medium size which is called the small but it's the in between size. So this is the small size tote. Again, this is the canvas. This does come with a black crossbody strap that you see hanging, and then you can also wear it as a top handle bag or on the crook of your arm. And then finally, we have the mini size. This is the smallest size that they make. This one is in the leather, but they also have this in canvas as well. This also comes with a crossbody strap um, on the leather one. It is a smaller strap that's skinnier um, and it's adjustable as you see there with the rivet, whereas on the small it's adjustable by the buckle. So you can see the size difference there. So if I put them all side by side just so you can see the size differences when they're next to each other, this back one is the largest size, this is what they call the size small, and then this here is the mini size. So you can see quite a size difference between all three of them, and this is more of your purse size. This middle one could be a great diaper bag or a purse. Um, there are a lot of different things you could use it for. And then the largest size is more of your travel type bag. So that does it for the tote bag review. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that it was helpful for you. Um, let me know what you're thinking. Are you gonna get one of these? Are you looking at the leather version? What size do you think is gonna work for you? I'm very curious to know. So leave me a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I do mostly try-ons but I'm obsessed with bags, so anytime I get a bag, I always wanna do a review for it so that if someone else is interested, they have some more information than a couple pictures on a website. So hopefully this was helpful. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care.